Hey guys, Tolo here, and we are in Stonecore, not on Heroic, uh, just in normal mode. And I'm here with my friend, who's the Warlock in this group. He is currently leveling his Warlock uh, because he wanted to do some battlegrounds with it. And I thought I, I might as well help him uh, with this dungeon. Actually, we did the uh, COC, uh, the new Ring of Blood uh, in the Twilight Highlands just before this, but I didn't record that one. But uh, here we are in Stone Core Normal. I know it might be a little bit boring, but at least it uh, gives me some time to, well, show you how I'm thinking, how I go my way. But, but then again, it's not really good of an example because I am fooling around a little bit, not uh, taking it that seriously with the pulling matter. Sometimes you mean pulling more. <laughs> so. Yeah, Stone Core is actually uh, the instance I hate the most. Uh, at least that was the pre the nerf. Um, it's not that it was def it was any hard for me. It's just I hate the boss Osrook because uh, the time I used to be so merciless. Uh, now it's a little bit more friendly, and uh, that's just nice. I had a few bad experience with me using heroic leap on that boss and ended up dying in the mid-air and that kind of sucked. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, here we are, Stone Core, and uh, up for some AoE fest. Not really going to use CC. I'm level 85 and uh, most of these guys are level 83 to 84, I believe. Richard Bushin, Paladin, Enhancement, Shaman, and Warlock, and Resto Druid. And uh, yeah. What can I say, really? You all, all of you guys have probably, probably already run this instance a million times. Well, I haven't because it's, it's uh, the instance I hate the most. But uh, one of the instances I have run many times is definitely Vortex uh, Pinnacle. Oh, I, I think I went through that instance like five or six times when I leveled. But uh, now that I'm 85. And have run my share of heroics, not only for my prod gear, but uh, partly, partially also for my fury gear, which is I I ended up seeing that I had uh, went completely wrong on. I went for a head cap instead of a just, and I then gimping my uh, uh, my haste and my crit, and that was completely wrong. A fury warriors need to only like 10% hit at the moment because else they will just be gimping their haste and their crit and mastery and uh, in the end it's not uh, really making up for it being hit capped. Maybe in a few tires it will be uh, manageable for us to be hitting the hit cap without gimping our other stats but uh, only future will tell uh, but at the moment the uh, prod is my main spec because I'm uh, raiding and I'm working as the uh, main tank or second tank however you would like to put it on most buses in uh, uh, Bastion Twilight and uh, yeah Blackwing Descent yeah so uh, I should probably one day uh, show you one of uh, our kills in uh, either of those instances it might be tonight actually because tonight we are going to uh, Blackwing Descent and Hopefully we'll have a bit of luck because recently we have either had a crap crappy uh, pox with us or We've been a little bit unlucky with uh, some stuff and uh, our main healer <laughs> most of all he uh, Yeah, he uh, ended up disconnecting a lot because his internet was fucking with him and that kind of sucked <laughs> And uh, if you're wondering why I was t what I was typing right there and standing a little bit if afk <laughs> I was I was kind of thinking I was ready to shockwave the ads coming up, but uh, no ads was coming up from the crystals he is doing, and uh, the crystals you're seeing right now on the screen. And I thought ads would be coming up, but uh, then I realized it wasn't heroic; it was just normal mode we were running. So, uh, well, let's run with him. Ready to pull? No way to, uh, no need to wait for him to die. And I, uh, yeah. Uh, one good thing though, it was a random uh, normal I did, so I did get about 140 uh, justice points. Not that I have any use of it, but uh, uh, it's always nice to get some justice points. I mean, you can get a little bit of herbs, mines, enchanting mats, 
Personally, I just use it for herbs because it's nice to have for a flask and etc. And I also have an inscription on one of my other characters. Oh, and it's so important to jump on this because you're taking 14,000 damage as a tank. <laughs> eh, ridiculous. I remember uh, these instances instances used to be a little bit hard in the beginning but uh, now we're kind of outgearing them surprisingly fast I mean you didn't outgear the instances that fast in uh, Wrath of the Lich King at least but uh, you can still be punished if you're not doing your things right and uh, you're not carried as easily with uh, uh, a good healer as you did in Wrath of the Lich King uh, and uh, watch this guys, uh, in a moment we are going to do what I call a whoop tea. <laughs> it's something that wasn't quite meant to be. So we are pulling this, three mobs here, kind of running away from uh, the big stone mob here, but I believe he's catching up on us. I didn't bother to move it anymore and uh, I, there we go, he got pulled by one of the uh, lower levels. <laughs> So well, we'll take the free ads and the uh, stone monster here, and we got a little bit of normal mobs behind us, taking them as well. Uh, kind of bad a a camera angle there. Uh, that sucks. But oh well, we manage. So we fight and we fight and watch behind us. We got more of these rock flayers. Uh, I realized they are just there at that point, and I walked the other way and do not pull them. But somebody, I believe that's the. Uh, Shaman who pulls, so another whoopty. <laughs> we ended up pulling quite big, so but hey, I'm level 85 and I got 170k HP unbuffed, so uh, that's quite good. I could have actually had the buffed with the commanding shout instead of battle shout now that I realize it, but I didn't bother to change up my macro. I got uh, my cleave macro with battle shout and that's just for the purpose, uh, then I know I'm doing it every time it's possible. And uh, yeah. And I also uh, got it, uh, I believe I also got it macroed up with the Berserker's Rage for the fun of it. Oh well, uh, let's run down to the dragon. And it's very, very, very important that you don't get hit by the falling rocks at the black spots. Or is it? I haven't really tried, it's just normal mode. and. Uh, you just know it's dangerous to take a few, a little bit of HP. Oh well, waiting for the guys to come up and believe we are ready, yep, about ready to go. Waiting for the healer to be, I'm not sure why I'm waiting here, but uh, there we go, there, come on, go, 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 god damn it, go Ansgar! <laughs> there, come on. One, two, three, and we're still waiting for the healer apparently. <laughs> Anyways, now we can go. And yeah. So, what can I say? The bus is easy, and especially on normal mode, he's flying up in the air. So be careful, you're not getting hit by the black spots once again. Surprise! And somebody got hit, I believe. <laughs> yeah. What can I say, guys? Anyways, um, I would like to. Uh, I know I've already brought it up in a few videos, but I'm not sure if everybody has seen it. I did create a Twitter and a Facebook group. So if you guys could uh, please sign up on that, I would really appreciate it, because on Facebook uh, I'm going to uh, announce when I'm having a videos coming out, and when my videos has come out, and if uh, I'll probably bring up a few discussions there for future videos. So I uh, would really, really appreciate it if you uh, signed up there, and uh, click the like click the like button and uh, share it with your friends uh, that would be great because it really helps me out a lot because what really motivates me to do videos is the uh, amount of people coming and watching my videos uh, i mean it's I, i'll do videos but um, it's just a lot more fun if when you see people coming and watching my videos and commenting on my videos pushing the like button dislike button and uh, at least giving some feedback so I know what to do better and such 
and uh, getting my videos out to you guys is uh, one of the most important things and it it's really what keeps me going and uh, yeah at the moment I believe I'm at 530 subscribers and I'm really thankful to thankful for that and uh, I'm trying to kind of broaden my uh, subscriber base here and uh, getting a little a few more and uh, that would really help me out if you did uh, go in and uh, click like on uh, Facebook or something something like that uh, yeah shockwave thunderclap thunderclap not getting enough rage there we go oh and uh, yeah what can I say easy stuff oh almost lock uh, lost acro there and somebody is miss pulling that trash there but oh well we can take care of that let's get a little bit a little bit of acro on that one out there I believe he's getting hexed right now no that's problem yeah there we go hexed and they should probably be focusing the uh, magma guys the elementals down at the moment but i don't believe they are doing so but uh, that's all right the healer seems to be all right and uh, my hp isn't something that goes down quite uh, i'm having about 170k hp unbuffed and uh, 70 uh, percent uh, avoidance and i think that's quite good uh, the tank i saw with the most hp at the moment is uh, definitely sko from method uh, on the Xavier server, they used to be on the Sil Sylvana servers, uh, the same server as me. Uh, the main tank and guildmaster, uh, he had 185k, um, that 185,000 uh, HP uh, when he is uh, fully stamina jumped, but at the moment I believe he is uh, mastery jumped. Oh, kind of failed there when I wanted to charge him. He ended up being in a without within range of me so I couldn't charge him and I believe we get that brute as well pull so uh, why not take it yeah he, here he comes <sighs> such an easy instance in uh, normal mode and uh, he, I know I'm not sure if this brought me any XP uh, I think you be, need to be three people at the moment uh, from the same guild if you want any guild XP at all so uh, it's kind of waste but we didn't bring in the third person because I believe there was a third person online and uh, oh well we're we're leveling in our own pace and uh, it's not going as quick as we wanted it to but uh, then again nobody wants to uh, be a uh, nerding uh, to be a uh, no braining it out uh, grinding a uh, heroics all day or doing daily quizzes all day we are pretty much a 10 man straight guild so we don't have that many people uh, and when we do have people online it's uh, really only when there's raids going on so <laughs> that's how it goes and uh, we are not leveling that fast but hey we're at least getting a, a little bit of gold into our guild bank on a regular basis because of people looting and when we're doing raid instances and that's uh, great uh, just hoping to get the second one at some point but uh, that will be uh, quite a while before we do so but uh, thankfully Blizzard did uh, turn up the reputation you gain from killing raid bosses and uh, that way we are guaranteed that we will get at least 100% XP uh, every raid day and uh, we raid two times per week and once uh, Blackwing de uh, Descent and the other one is other day is uh, Bastion Twilight. We're trying to get a little bit of progress in uh, front of the four ones, but uh, we haven't got the, gotten there yet. We kind of planned on doing so in the last Thursday, but uh, then the servers ended up disconnecting and being offline for the entire raid. We got to raid uh, like one and a half hour, but uh, then we had two hours left and the servers ended up disconnecting, so that sucked. We didn't get to clear Bastion Twilight or by clearing I mean getting up to council because we are not having any Trison Chogal yet. But what our plan was to kill council which was the last boss we needed. Uh, we already killed him once and he was going down fairly easily I think. We had a smooth run at least. <laughs> what the fuck is going on there? My warlock friend just 
kind of misspelled, but oh well. And then they are even uh, vanishing. Damn you. <laughs> but uh, as I was saying, uh, we are trying to uh, get thrown off the four wins on the schedule, but we are not putting another rate day uh, into it. So if we can get things down smoothly, we'll have time for Throne of the Fallen's. And that was what we hoped for last Tuesday, but uh, then the server kind of crashed. So I heard the boss was the first boss in there was fairly easy. And that would bring us up to a 9 out of 12 progress. So, and uh, it's kind of been irritating me that we have been a little bit unlucky with the people we have recruited. And of the healers, it just ended up being AFK or some sort and not showing up for raids so we ended up kicking them and it happened like three or four times in a row uh, but at least now we got mining funny and hopefully he will bring us uh, out to a victory and mining funny is uh, one of the uh, enhancement shamans i played with back in uh, ulduar days you can watch him in the older raids i uh, have on no scar channel so yeah Ostrog, my hate bus, but oh well, uh, he should be fairly easy with a normal mode. So, let's get the Sunder armor slot going out up on him. One, two, three. Oh, and ground, ground slam incoming. Turn the bus around. Yep. So, when Shatter is coming right now, you can see there's a, this black spot and you need to run out of it. And I believe I ran a little bit too far from it. It's actually my first time tanking this bus again uh, since the patch, so I had to uh, see what's what's going on here. <laughs> but uh, I, oh well, I believe the damage output has changed a little bit as well. It's not going out all at once, but uh, just uh, like a ticking uh, some sort, if I'm not incorrect. Uh, anyways, um, as you see, Ausbrook is going down fairly easy. He's enraging now, and that means uh, he's uh, getting low on HP. And uh, Shatter, let's run out. Boom. And yeah, he's dead. Let's get on with the last boss. Uh, only a few couple of minutes, and we should be there. Uh, yeah. Disenchanting, hoping for some maps. Oh, and this is gonna be fun. Let's pull the whole room. Pull, 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 pull. Uh, I wasn't kind. Of, I wasn't sure how much I could pull here, but then again, there were just normal mobs. But the healer wasn't in range of me, and I could see I was losing quite some HP there. So let's heroic leap, charge back, thunderclap, and uh, cleave, cleave. Let's cleave, and thunderclap, and uh, shot. Uh, oh, we're pulling the brute as well. Uh, Shockwave wasn't quite ready, too bad, because it usually do quite a bit of damage and it's always fun to watching the crits on that one. Especially if you have stacked your thunderclap up three times, uh, so you get the uh, thunderstruck, I believe it's called, and that means you do 30% more damage on your shockwave. That's always fun to watch, but it's not always you're able to stack it up, so, but I will. Uh, down here we got the last pass, uh, normal mode. And I see we are actually closing in to a kill here. Shouldn't be too long, maybe a minute, maybe two, depending on the DPS really. Oh, let's look at all the numbers. And I did I did get a shockwave out there. That was nice. So let's pull the last pass now. Uh, oh, waiting for the healer's mana. I'm not sure why I do so, but uh, anyways. Let's get uh, going. Yes. There we go. And the bus is coming down and charge. I actually like this bus on Heroic. It's uh, rather fun. Uh, you, you have to do something out of the ordinary. You have to run around uh, on the other side of the black circle. And it's always fun to go into some random group and who doesn't know quite what to do and start AOing the uh, ads down, especially if it's some uh, some sort of uh, retribution paladin, fury warrior, death knight or something that go in and melee the ads down and get aggro of them, instead of running 
on the other side of the black circle and uh, that's always fun so it always gives a good laugh and uh, here I'm kind of fooling around not really taking it serious I mean what can I do of course my job is to take the ads off the healer but he's kind of running away yep what to do avoid the rock of course but uh oh more ads incoming and more yay and the uh, boss is back down I have no idea where she is but I, I guess she is somewhere in the crowd uh, letting the healer shaking a little bit aggro because I get life gripped come on jump jump thunder clap and we are done with the aim steps and uh, thanks for watching guys uh, this will be it and I hope you liked it even though it's just stone core and it was a normal but uh, hey it did give you a little bit of insight and uh, leave a comment below and uh, thanks for watching see ya